bit, police. Wow, you guys are going so incredibly super fast. In your imaginations. <laughs> I did it! Wow, that was loud. Did you hear me? The entire town heard you. Good! It works! Check out the megaphone I mega fixed up for Officer Carl. It has three settings now. Really loud, really, really loud, and really, really, really loud. Speaking of really loud, what is that? We'd better go check it out. Someone may need help. Just me, or does Officer Carl look slightly busier than usual? It's not just you. That traffic jam is extra jammy. Officer Carl, over here! <gasps> My megaphone! Thanks, guys! Whoa! Ooh, sorry. No problem. You're welcome. Just in time, too. The stoplight's broken. I need to direct traffic until the repair crew comes. This is the busiest day of my life. Wow, you're not kidding. Come on through. You first. No, no, no. The other you. No. Oh. It's tough being the only police officer in Sparkton Hills. What if you had some new deputies to help out? New deputies? Yep. Let's get some bits on the fix. Ray, Broly, we need your help. Yo! Deputy Broly, Deputy Ray, the traffic oh. light is broken. We need you to help Officer Carl. You in? <laughs> Thanks, kids. Now I can finally take a breath and... Calling Officer Carl. Kitty cat stuck in a tree on Lieber Street. So much for breathing. That tree is way on the other side of town. Need to borrow my go-kart? Well, it is a great day for a drive. Officer Carl's going to kick it into gear. It's a little too small for me. And... Oh, my foot is stuck! Oh. On second thought, it's an even better day for a jog. Don't worry. Help is here. It's one tall tree. Don't worry, little kitty cat. Remain calm. Help has arrived. <laughs> Officer Carl, come in. Over. Trouble on Lake Sprocket. A boater in distress. Over. What a day. A boater in distress, a kitty cat in distress. I can't save them both at the same time. We can help. Crush, we have a kitty emergency. And grab your jetpack. This jetpack will blast you up to that cat. Then you can carry it down in style. Okay. Three, two, one. Bit blast off! Had <laughs> a big crush. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, Deputy Crush. Now to the lake. Officer Carl is seriously busy. I'm glad the bits can help. Maybe they can help at the lake, too. Let's see what's up. Tammy, are you OK? Officer Carl, am I glad to see you. I ran out of gas. You and me both. I just need to figure out how to get out there. Don't worry, Officer Carl. We'll get some bits on the fix. Whirly, we need you at the lake. Can you get here fast? <laughs> Whoa, that was super fast. Uh -huh. We need you to fly up to Sammy and tow him back to shore. Can you do it? <laughs> no way! Whirly to the rescue!
This is awesome with chocolate sauce! Thanks again, kids. The bits helped me out three times in a row. Officer Carl, there's a problem. Traffic trouble downtown. Over. Traffic? Downtown? But we left Ray there. Oh, no. He must need help. We're on our way! <laughs> Officer Carl is on the case! <sighs> <sighs> Keep up with the traffic. Where's Officer Carl? We need his help. I'm here. Officer Carl, another problem at the kitty tree. Over. The kitty tree? But we were just there and everything was okay. The bits are doing their best, but it looks like nobody can fill in for you, Officer Carl. And I just can't get around town fast enough to do everything. Not yet. Ruby, what if there was a way to get Officer Carl anywhere he wanted super fast? Let's combine it and design it. We start with the old motorcycle from the yard. Add some jet power for turbo boost. Combine it with Officer Carl's mega loud megaphone and we'll have a super fast all-terrain police machine. Put them all together, and we've got our plan. She looks? No, nope, she's faster. Don't worry, citizens of Spartan Hills. Officer Carl is here. And now I can fly. Woohoo! <clears throat> I mean, uh, help is on the way. to save a kitty! Go, Officer Carl! Yeah! <laughs> oh, no! Looks like Crush had some tree trouble. Remain calm! Flying Officer Carl is here! I'll save you! I have a furry new hat. <laughs> Aw, happy to help. <sighs> no more emergencies. I'm getting an emergency call. Oh, boy! <gasps> Whirly! To the lake! Whirly's doing her best, but she's getting tired. Yeah! And now a seagull's trying to eat my ice cream! Oh, help! Let's see how this thing handles on water. I'll save you, Sammy! It's not me I'm worried about, it's my ice cream! That's right, Seagull. I can fly, too. I hope this thing has a tow line. Hold on tight, Sammy, while I try every button at random. Officer Carl, hit the blue one. That was so cool. 
I mean... <clears throat> now, sit back and leave the driving to the professional. Job, Officer Carl. Yeah, that was awesome with chocolate sauce and sprinkles. Thanks for saving me and the cream. Let's hear it for the only police officer Spartan Hills needs, Officer Carl. Yeah! I couldn't have done it without you. And the Hover Cycle 4000. So, to show my thanks, who wants a ride? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Deputy Crush, Deputy Whirly, hop on. Uh -huh. Now you guys really will be going super fast. Go! Ready? Yay! Then away we go! Sure love their new Ferris wheel. And Wadasaur loves watching them love it. We're talking hours of fun while we're away. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we won't be gone for long. <laughs> we're meeting Ranger Anna at the river to watch a beaver build its dam. Oh. <laughs> um, you might want to slow down a little there, Wadasaur. You're getting kind of dizzy. Mm -hmm. Have fun, you guys! <laughs> Time to pull! Look at the size of that dam. That is one busy beaver. Such a beautiful, majestic creature. Hi, Anna! <laughs> We're here! I see that! The beaver's over there, using branches to fix a hole in her dam. Aww. I've known Chompers since she was a little kit. That's what you call a beaver baby, a kit. Let's go see her up close. Come on. Well, hey there, Chompers. <gasps> <laughs> that's beaver for, what's going on, buddy? <gasps> and that's beaver for, hey, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! I think Chompers is hurt. Are you okay, little one? Oh! Oh! Uh, one of the branches must have hurt her mouth. Poor girl. How can she chew wood and fix the hole in her dam now? She can't, but she has to, or the dam could break apart. And if that happens, Chompers will be in more trouble. The water will wash away her hole. You know, Chompers isn't the only one who can build and fix things. I can, too. I'll fix her dam. Smile, please. Hmm. Nope, you can't fix the dam. Your teeth aren't big enough to cut branches. Uh -uh. Oh, not with my teeth. With my multi-tool. I can fix the dam laser fast. Great jumping jackrabbits! Beavers have a special way they build and fix their dams. Yeah, beavers don't use lasers, Rusty. But they would if they could, right, Chompers? Uh... It's just not a good idea to mess with nature, Rusty. Don't worry, I'll make nature even better. First, I'll cut that last branch you were chewing on, Chompers. See? No problem. Oops. Don't worry, I can fix it. Oh, no. Rusty, stop! <sighs> You're breaking it more. Maybe nature's way is better. I think we can use a little help. Let's get some bits on the fix. <laughs> okay, Bits, now that you've met Chompers, we need to fix her beaver dam and make it watertight again. Let's gather wood and fill those holes. Guys, uh oh, a new leak just opened up. Ah. Well, I'll be a spotted zebra. What is happening? Ah. <laughs> oh. For every leak they plug, a new one springs up. Are they the right kind of twigs? Uh -uh. Maybe they're too 
small. <gasps> Did they fix Chomper's home? <laughs> nope, didn't fix it. Look at the dam now. It's worse than ever. We need a new plan, more than ever. Careful, everyone. Stand back. We have to fix this and find something else to plug the holes. Come on. The little twigs didn't work. How about a big tree to fix all the holes at once? Like this one. Perfect. All we have to do is move this over to the dam and Chomper's home will be just fine. Everybody, grab a piece of tree. <laughs> On three. One, two, three. <gasps> that tree must weigh a ton. I don't think even a rhino could budge it. But I bet a dino can. And we just happen to know one. Botasaur, we need you. <laughs> Bodasaur, have you been watching that Ferris wheel this whole time? <laughs> you okay, buddy? We could use your help. Can you lift this tree? We need to put it up against the beaver dam to support it. <laughs> Ugh, nice and sturdy. No leaks. All right, Bodasaur. <laughs> Bodasaur, don't! Stop wagging your tail! It's gonna blow! Make like a cheetah and run! <laughs> For Chompers, now her home is all <gasps> not wrecked? <laughs> Quick thinking, Bodasaur. You saved the dam. <laughs> but he can't hold on forever. We need a super quick plan to fix this dam before Bodasaur gives out. But how? We are not beavers. True, but Chompers is. Chompers, how do we fix your dam? <laughs> she says you need to cut a lot smaller branches, and she'll help fill in the cracks with mud and pack it all down with her tail. <gasps> That's it! We don't need to fix the dam. We need to cut branches for our hurt friend so she can. The beaver way. Hold on, Bodasaur. We'll figure out a way to cut lots of branches super fast. Let's combine it and design it. We'll start with my laser cutter set to maximum laser power. Then we add the bit's Ferris wheel for super spinning action. Then combine it all with my go-kart, and we'll have an all-terrain super cutter that will make dam fixing a cinch. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. Do your best beaver impression. 
action and grab those branches. Chompers. I should never have messed with nature. <laughs> Glad to help, Chompers. But you did all the hard work. And you still have all you need to keep your dam strong until your tooth is better. How is your tooth, anyway? Well... I'd say she's better already. Hey, Chompers, looks like you want to play. Yeah, only I wonder what beavers like to play with. I think I know just the thing. Everyone's having fun after a hard day's work. Rusty's bought a fort. Play catch? Sure! Throw it here, Orly! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Whirly. I'll get it. Whoa! Look at this place. Yeah, this place is a mess. Who cares about the mess? This shed will make an awesome floor. Can I use it, Rusty? Please, please, please! Well, I'm not really using it right now, so sure. Yes, I'm getting a fort. I've always wanted a fort. All right, guys. Looks like our project for today is to rustify this fort. First, we'll raise the walls and ceiling 10 feet. Hold on. I have a better idea. There. Perfect. The official Liam Fort is done. Ah, uh, home sweet home. Are you sure I can't rustify it a little bit? I mean, look at this walkway. Wouldn't it be better if it were a moving walkway that does the walking for you? Rusty, Liam likes his fort just the way it is. I'm just saying this would be much more fun if I was riding a moving walkway. Ooh, a chair! This place gets better and better. Thanks, Rusty. Well, if you love it, Liam, then I love it. We have to show everyone my new fort. Hey, everyone, check out my new fort! Huh? Ooh, uh -huh. <laughs> Juice boxes for everyone. <laughs> so, Liam, what are you gonna do in here? Everything, art, board games, maybe even camp out. Oh, who wants to have a fort sleepover? <laughs> Huh? Well, penguins are a lot of fun. <laughs> Not looking for playmates? You're looking for a cave like the penguins have. Kind of like a fort. Hmm. Well, big fella, don't think you're gonna fit in there. <gasps> the monkey enclosure might be just your size. 
<laughs> they want you to join them. I think we found your new fort. <laughs> or not. Huh? Yep, it's a sad day for us all. <laughs> you think a seagull nest would make a good fort? Aren't you a big <laughs> okay, for the sleepover, Liam will bring the sleeping bags, I will bring the carrot sticks, and Rusty will bring... A turbocharged popcorn popping machine that blasts popcorn high into the air so we can catch it in our mouths! <laughs> so everyone has a task except for Botasaur. Botasaur? Botasaur! Don't worry, I'll call him with my bot alert signal. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, no! That's weird. He should be here by now. Hmm, Botasaur was definitely here, but it looks like he left. Why would Botasaur leave the yard? Let's check the camera feed and find out. <laughs> he ran away! Why would Botasaur run away? Because we were all having fun in the fort without him. He felt left out. I didn't even think to make the fort big enough for Botasaur to fit. I have to tell Botasaur I didn't leave him out on purpose. We have to find him. And hey, look! Bites went after Botasaur. Well, let's go find them both. You guys stay here in case Botasaur or Bites comes back. Okay, okay Ruby, time to bolt. it is to find a giant metal dinosaur. I know, right? <laughs> hey, buddy, do you know where Botasaur is? <laughs> gotcha! Botasaur's at yoga. I think he wants us to follow him. <laughs> then let's go. Out. Are you stuck? <laughs> I'm sorry we ignored you when we were inside Liam's new fort. Yeah, and now we're going to figure out how to save you and get you back to the yard as soon as we can. Can't you jump across? <laughs> Oh, boy. What are we gonna do? I know! We can use one of our flying vehicles from the yard to pick up Botasaur and bring him home! But all of our flying vehicles, the plane, the rocket ship, even the flying Rotolite 5000, they're all too small. Botasaur won't fit on any of them. It looks like we're gonna have to make something bigger. Well, then, let's combine it and design it! Take part of our super cool rocket ship. Combine it with these old storage tanks from the yard. And finally, we'll put the rotors from the flying Rotolite 5000 on top. Put them all together, and we've got our plan.
out to the Barta Saver 6000. <laughs> okay, Barta Saver. Do your job. has his very own fort right here. Bodasaur, can I play inside your fort? Yes! <laughs> Not only is Bodasaur safe, but he got a brand new perfect fort. Well, it could use a moving walkway. <laughs> Dropping off some old parts. Whoa, what is that? An old invention of mine. It's been taking up space in my yard, so I decided to recycle it. You can't throw that away. It's amazing. Yeah, how does it work? Well, that's the thing. It never did. This bulldozer is my biggest disappointing doodad. What if the three of us work together to try and fix it? Gee, hmm, I don't know. I know we can get it to work. Well, all right. <laughs> Count me in. Yeah! <laughs> Don't worry, Bodasaur. It's harmless. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bites. It isn't ready to play yet, but it will be soon. Great job, you two. Now we'll see if it works. <laughs> yeah, it's working. <laughs> Thanks to you two, my greatest flop is now my greatest feat. Be patient, Bites. It's still not ready to play with you. <laughs> I can't believe we got it running after all these years. Mr. Higgins, what's this modifier chip for? Hmm, I don't remember. Let's put it in. <laughs> I just remembered. It makes Bulldozer target and charge anything that's blue. Like that car! <gasps> oh, no! Stop! Police! Come back here! 
Not good. Don't worry, kids. It's all under control. <laughs> we need to stop that bulldozer before it ruins everything blue in Sparkton Hills. Let's go. Oh, golly, this is not good. Let's get some bits on the fix. Curly, Jack, Crush, Ray, we need your help. <laughs> A bulldozer just zoomed off that way. Do you think you can find it? Time to bolt! If anyone can stop that bulldozer <laughs> from ruining everything blue, it's Rusty and Ruby. I'm <laughs> Bulldozer, Whirly. Let's shut it down before it bashes anything else. Uh. Too late. <laughs> oh no! Bites! Wait! What's Bites doing? I think he's tired. He might be, but he's also distracting Bulldozer. <laughs> Now's our chance to pull out its modifier chip. <laughs> Almost <laughs> got it, kid! Great <laughs> That's okay. I've got an idea. Let's catch up to that bull and get that chip out. Ruby, we've almost caught the bulldozer. Next up is to get that chip out. <laughs> Yeehaw! Let's lasso this bull. Trying to herd bulldozer away from blue things. <laughs> of course! He's trying to move bulldozer the same way a cattle dog herds cows back into their pens. That's exactly what he was doing. Who is a good boy? Yes, you are! <laughs> Aw, Bites is tuckered out. If he had more power, he could herd bulldozer back to the recycle yard. That's it. We just need to rustify bites. Let's combine it and design it. First, we'll start with bites as the base. Then we'll give him the big tires for traction. And then we'll add rocket boosters to give bites the speed he needs. Put them all together, and we've got our plan. back to us, and we can get his targeting chip out. <laughs> Please be extra careful moving my big blue cake. Look 
Look at that! Bites is keeping up with the bulldozer. Good job, Bites. Now bring him back to the yard. <laughs> anyone could get my bulldozer working again, it would be you two. Oh, thanks. Happy to help. And now that we've taken Bulldozer's modifier chip out, he can play nice. <laughs> 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 